Hey, Larkin Rose here. <laughs> the third and final installation of reviewing the Orange Fuhrer talking at the mislabeled Libertarian Convention. Um, we're only halfway through his speech. I'm going to play this at double speed so I don't feel the need to jump into a chipper myself of having to listen to this bullshit too long. Um, but I'm going to pick pick up right where we left off. Once again, I will remind people that my hypothetical, since some people were saying, this is how we get more relevance and get more eyes and spread the message and yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. I want you to picture three people. One is a Trump supporter who's watching this, doesn't really know about libertarianism, because but is rah, rah, rah for Trump. One is sort of curious about libertarianism, doesn't really know what it is, and is tuning in to find out. And one is just some random spectator who doesn't know much about anything. I want you to see if the message of libertarianism, or anything remotely close to that, has any prayer of making any progress with any of those people. So I'm going to pick up where we were. Um, he's going to sound like a chipmunk because I'm playing... <laughs> because I'm playing him at double time, or he's going to sound like he drank one too many Red Bulls. So here we go. We will, and without it, there's a risk that we can have four more years, we won't have a country left. So what is the purpose of the Libertarian Party getting 3%? What is the reason to take a chance of having this horrible president destroy our country, which he will do in far less than four years? Is that going to take four years? The country will be destroyed if you vote for Mr. Johnson. Vote Jones! Same predictable bullshit, nothing like principle. That is why I'm committing to you tonight that I will put a libertarian in my cabinet, and also libertarians in senior posts. <laughs> there you have, there you have the perfect tactical ass kissing. I will give some of you some power if you support me. And it's probably gonna work. There's probably a bunch of gullible, stupid, supposed libertarians who aren't actual libertarians who are gonna support this joker based on his bullshit promise to appoint somebody federal dog catcher who labels himself a libertarian. Quick, sell your soul to a war criminal. What could possibly go wrong? Pretty good. That's pretty big. Or you can keep going the way you have for the last long decades and get you 3% and meet again and get another 3%. No, you want to make yourself winners. It's time to be winners. You have a lot of common sense. It's time to be winners. So I'm asking for the liberty, well, think of it. I'm asking for the Libertarian Party's endorsement, or at least lots of your votes, lots and lots of Libertarian votes, based on my four-year, very outstanding presidential record. Much of my record is Libertarian. <laughs> he just says the word, much of my record is Libertarian. Once again, the Trump supporter watching is going to go, oh, so I guess he already is Libertarian? And the people leaning towards Libertarian and curious about what it is are going, oh, so he already is it? And this neutral spectator is like, Oh, so Trump is libertarian already? Is that what it means to be libertarian? Good job spreading the message! As an example, D-Roy, where is D-Roy, is he here? D-Roy, where are you? He's great, I like D-Roy. You have to do the thing to point people in the crowd and kiss their ass and pretend to be one of them. He's talking about, uh, I mentioned this in the last thing, the uh, libertarian writer in, in American Spectator or whatever it was who wrote an article about how Trump is really a libertarian. I liked him for a long time, and he is a libertarian. Thank you, D-Roy. Thank you. D-Roy wrote, the $1.5 trillion tax cuts and jobs act was America's largest infusion of tax relief. That's the largest tax relief ever. It sliced individual tax rates for all taxpayers and slashed corporate tax rates from a punishing 35% to a globally competitive, and much more than that, only 21%, way down. It was the largest tax cut... So he's only going to steal this much from you instead of that much. So, Libertarian! Next, Jeffrey Dahmer will show up and say, I'm not going to eat all of you. I'm just going to eat two, both your legs, and one arm. But that's it. That is the biggest reduction in cannibalism that any cannibal has ever done. In this <laughs> so principled. In the history of our country, now you can like it or you don't have to like it. Immediate expensing of business equipment and other reductions fuel the best economy that our country has ever had. For four years, we had the best economy our country has ever had. Black and Hispanic unemployment reached the best levels in history. Female joblessness slid to levels unseen before. Black poverty collapsed to record lows. And all of the things, income inequality shrank, and it shrank at levels we've never witnessed. Under my guidance, this plantation has brought in more cotton... <sighs> Between 2016 and 2019, real median household income grew, these were the Trump years, 16.4%, the highest ever, to almost $10,000 per family. Think of that. 
Number two, cut, cut red tape. As never before, he promised to kill two old regulations for every new one. And in fact, he ended up actually scrapping eight for one. And he was going to 12 to one and doing numbers that were unbelievable. Thank you, D. Roy. D. Roy is, and I'm actually just quoting from the article that came out today from D. Roy Burdock. He said, number three, Trump fully restrained inflation. We had practically none. Prices were rising just one. Restrained inflation. Uh, I already said that. He handed out. He did the handouts first that caused the inevitable inflation that we're still suffering from. Biden picked it up after him, but he, st he started it and he's pretending, oh, this is Biden's fault. How could he do that? 1.4% as he left office. And this was a fraction of the 9% inflation that lying Joe Biden repeatedly claims Trump handed him. No, he said we handed him. No, it went up to 9% after he took over the White House and created all the inflationary acts. He did a horrible job. The 30-year mortgage rate as Trump departed, was 2.77% versus the almost 9% today. And you, by the way, even if you pay 9%, you can't get any money. There's no money available. Trump's drill baby drill approach fostered energy independence, which we've never had before. Low fuel and electricity prices helped moderate inflation and propel economic growth. But all of these things have now skyrocketed. It's, it's literally a leech. It's like a five-foot-long leech stuck to a cow bragging about all the things the cow is still able to do. It's not because of you, dumbass. That's in spite of you. I, I could have stolen more of your money and gotten the way, gotten in the way of you even more. But I only got in the way of you this much instead of that much, and I only stole this much instead of that much. Bow down and appoint me as your lord and master. <laughs> ah. They have skyrocketed to levels never seen. Inflation has hit us harder than it's probably ever hit us before, and people are suffering because of it. Trump promoted parental rights and school choice. Trump's education department repealed the so-called guidance letter that turned on-campus sexual harassment accusations into de facto criminal convictions. You know all about that. Who else would do that for you? Trump restored due process to the... He did it for you. <laughs> I'm no longer <laughs> your master. In a very real sense, I am now your <laughs> servant. I did it for you. If you haven't seen Jones Plantation, Holy shit, watch it. And pay attention to Noah. This is this is like Noah inviting Mr. Jones over to talk to his crowd. Just so dumb. He said, she said, minefield for your children. I know many, many people, what they've gone through with that is they've gone through hell in a powerful blow. Trump required universities to respect the First Amendment lest they lose their federal funds. I said, if you don't respect the First Amendment, we're taking away all of your federal funding. Federal funding for universities from the guy who said we're against socialism why is the federal government robbing a bunch of people to give money to universities why is he not against that he's just in favor of using that bribery money to serve the agenda he wants instead of the agenda some other crook wants but the idea of not robbing you to pay for universities well we can't have that that would be extreme that would be libertarian. Trump torpedoed Obamacare's individual mandate and got rid of many of its taxes. Medical price transparency empowered consumers to shop for health care services and compare costs. And this is one of the biggest things that's happened. And it's reducing the price of drugs and everything related to drugs and medical care at levels not seen before. This will soon be happening. The competition is now slowing what we're ballooning health care. He's not libertarian. He's not even constitutionalist because never does he say um, under the Ninth and Tenth Amendment, the federal government has no business doing anything about healthcare or education or 99% of what they do. He's not even constitutionalist, much less libertarian. Expenses. Trump signed right to try. Terminally ill patients now can receive experimental and possibly life-saving treatments. And when a death's a door, what do these suffering Americans have to lose? What do they have to lose, U.S.? They are so thousands and thousands of people are now living because of right to try. Trump nominated some 300 constitutionalist federal judges, a record, including a seldom seen three Supreme Court justices in one presidential term. Very rarely seen before, if ever. Trump canceled and defunded federal diversity equity. Because he's a big b believer in the Constitution, except the First Amendment, and the Second, and the Fourth, and the Fifth, and the Sixth, and the Ninth, and the Tenth. <laughs> and inclusion programs and other state-funded racism schemes. The VA Mission Act, which Trump signed, lets military veterans receive federally funded medical care in the private sector. If delays prevent their treatment in VA hospitals, in other words, if they're delayed, they can go out and get a private doctor, we pay the bill, they go out. Why the fuck is that any of your business, and why on earth would anybody pretend you're libertarian if you think, well, we're going to let you do this instead of that, and we're going to, yeah, we have our tentacles and all that, and we're not removing our tentacles, we're just going to slightly adjust them. Vote for me. They get a private doctor, they get better. People were waiting online for two months, three months, five months, six months, and not anymore. 
Trump signed a measure that streamlined dismissals of federal bureaucrats who abuse America's beloved veterans. Stop talking about yourself in the third person, you fucking psycho. <laughs> Trump did this. Trump, Trump did that. He got NATO countries to pay hundreds of billions of dollars more. But he, it's you, you psycho. Their protection. The only president to do so and substantially reducing what we were forced to pay. We got them to pay other nations to pay hundreds of billions of dollars that they weren't paying. No other president was able to do that. What the f Reducing very substantially what we paid. The fuck is that? Trump administration, we had peace through strength. No wars other than the complete and total destruction of ISIS. And the Roy ended by saying that most libertarians would say this is a non-exhaustive roster of accomplishments like no other, that it truly shines. So again, D-Roy, thank you very much. D-Roy Murdoch, I appreciate it. We could not have written that better. And as you say, there were many other things we did that were quite libertarian also. So I want to thank you very much. That was a great article. Thank you. D-Roy Murdoch, thank you. So, when I return to the White House, we will... So security's dragging somebody out. I have no idea who or why. Spreading the message. Whatever the fuck is going the on. Grip on our democracy once and for all. I did far more than any other president in that regard. As an example, I inherited James Comey, a terrible, terrible person from the Obama administration. And very early on, I fired him and lots of others at the FBI, in addition to thousands and thousands of corrupt and unnecessary people throughout our government. And now we are going to finish the job. We will root out the sickness that has taken over our Justice Department, our FBI, and other agencies. Our goal will be nothing less than the rebirth of fair, equal, and impartial justice under the constitutional rule of law. Since the day he took office, Joe Biden has worked to persecute political dissidents, including conservatives, Catholics. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Johnson's really bad. I have no idea what the fuck just happened. <laughs> like, why that person was being dragged off. That, that was weird. Really spreading an awesome, consistent rational and calm philosophical explanation of the concepts of self-ownership and non-aggression. And other Christians and opponents of this weaponized state, right now the Biden DOJ is trying to put Christians in prison for 11 years for the crime of singing hymns. The moment I win the election, I will appoint a special task force to rapidly review the cases of every political prisoner who has been unjustly persecuted by the Biden administration so that I... A lying sack of shit. You were there before. You could have done that before. You could have pardoned people before. You fucking didn't. But hey, promise it to a bunch of libertarians who will stupidly believe you. Especially when you're a lame duck and you have no reason to follow through on any of your promises because you can't get reelected anymore if you do win. can sign their pardons or commutations on day one. So somebody's waving a free Ross sign, which is like, you, you could have freed this guy and you didn't. I would do this on day one. Why didn't you do it on day 795 last time you were president, you lying sack of shit? Because then he wouldn't have it as a playing piece and a little bit of leverage to try to dupe these dumbasses into voting for this psycho. And I want to assure that libertarians are helping to lead that task force. You'll be so they're yelling free Ross, if you couldn't tell. So far he hasn't responded. I'm sort of surprised he doesn't just pretend he's going to free Ross Ulbricht, um, which he won't. <laughs> but, I mean, he wouldn't do it even if he promised it, so why not promise it? On that task force, many of you. As everyone knows, it will be my great honor to pardon the peaceful January 6th protesters, or, as I often call them, the hostages, the hostages. There has never been a group of people treated so harshly or unfairly in our country's history. <laughs> this is... Uh, I mean, that's true. The The stupid frat party tantrum of January 6th that was not anywhere near an insurrection. It was ridiculous what was done to them. But never been so mistreated. But you said that right after somebody is holding up a sign about Ross Ulbricht. <sighs> so full of shit. So self-absorbed. This abuse will be rectified and it will be rectified very quickly. And if you vote for me on day one, I will commute the sentence of Ross Ulbricht. To a of Yay! He finally made the bullshit promise. Why didn't you do it before? Because he doesn't give a fuck, but he thinks this will buy the vote of some gullible idiots. And there are a bunch of gullible idiots going yay. He didn't do it the first time. He could have gone like this at any point in the four years he was there before. Do you think he gives a shit? about Ross or anybody. Now, if Ross gets out, that would be cool. But if you think he gives a fuck about justice for anybody, and if he, he can buy your loyalty by saying, well, I'll do this dumb little thing. Like, to him, it's a dumb little thing. Obviously, it would be really cool to have Ross not in a cage. But if he can buy your loyalty, yeah, I will put you on a throne in a position where you can oversee warmongering and authoritarian bullshit. 
as long as you let one guy go that you could have let go at any point in the 1400 or however many days you were in office the first time. I'm sorry. And he knew that that was a tactical thing. He was waiting till the end to get a gullible crowd to go yay, which it would be a good thing, but holy shit, is your soul for sale that easily? He's already served 11 years. When you get him home, where are you going? 11, wait a minute, let me do the math. 11 is more than four. 11's more than four. It's even more than eight. So when you were in office before, he was in that cage when this piece of shit was in office and didn't do anything about it, when literally all he had to do was sign a piece of paper. Christ. I'm proud that I put forward a detailed plan to smash the censorship and industrial complex and restore free speech. On day one, I was on an executive order banning federal agencies from colluding to censor the awful speech of American citizens. And we will remove the rogue bureaucrats who conspire to take away your First Amendment freedoms. We will do that quickly. I will once again slash a record number of liberty-destroying regulations. I will stop Joe Biden's plan for the largest tax. He is going to give you the largest tax increase in the history of our country. Um, if you don't remember, I, I don't remember the details enough. But somebody was literally critical of him, and he was like, eh, this should not be allowed. The courts will have to look into this. So he absolutely believes in using the violence of the state to censor critics. He just doesn't like it when it's the other way around. Well, duh, nobody does. No tyrant wants to be on the receiving end of it. He just wants to wield it. But notice how he, he threw out that treat. I'll do that little thing for you so that you'll be dumb enough to put me on a throne and give me to tons of power. I will end that. And I will make the Trump tax cuts the biggest in the history of our country. We will make them permanent tax cuts. We will also stop the massive... How fucking stupid are people? We will make them permanent tax cuts. Really? How are you going to do that? Well, I'm going to write a law that says Congress isn't allowed to write laws from now on. He doesn't have the power to do that. <laughs> Make them permanent. What the fuck are you talking about? Biden inflation tax, a sell tax by which Crooked Joe Biden is printing trillions and trillions of dollars and plundering it for the cronies and political friends that he's got all over Washington. And we... You mean like he did when he was in... We will there. cancel the Green New Deal, which is the Green New Scam. That's a big scam. We will terminate Crooked Joe's insane electric vehicle mandate. And we're going to bring your energy costs down by 60 and 70 percent because we will drill, baby, drill. We're going to drill, baby, drill. We will eliminate illegal government discrimination, return to a society based on individual rights and individual merit. Oh, I think that's in the Fed. Thank you. And I will also stop Joe Biden's crusade to. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And the Fed, he kisses their ass. Fresh crypto, we're gonna stop it. I will ensure that the future of crypto and the future of Bitcoin will be made in the USA, not driven overseas. I will support the right to self custody to the nation's 50 million crypto holders. I say this with your vote. I will keep Elizabeth Warren and her goons away from your Bitcoin. And I will never. So he knows the things to pretend to support. Never allow the creation of a central bank digital currency. I will also immediately end the humanitarian disaster on our southern border. We will end it quickly. You cannot have capitalism and also have open borders because you will soon be turned into a socialist nation, then a poor nation, and finally you will be a failed nation by ending the border crisis. Well, it's good to hear that a bunch of libertarians at least know that's bullshit. We're for individual freedom. Except you can't go anywhere without government permission. This which we will do immediately. We will save freedom, prosperity, and capitalism in America. And before I even arrive at the Oval Office shortly after we win the presidency, I will have the horrible war between Russia and Ukraine settled. So we quit spending... It'll just magically settle it. Hundreds of billions of dollars to fight other people's wars, and so that we start immediately saving thousands and thousands of lives. And I am committed to restoring peace and restoring stability, and to stopping Joe Biden's march. And making good things happen, and making there be more bunnies and rain <laughs> rainbows, and fewer mosquitoes and stubbed toes. World War Three. You know you're, you're being led right into World War Three. You know that. You can have World War Three, and it'll be a war like no other because of the weaponry, the massive weaponry. It will be a war like no other. We will stop it. And I'm the only one that's going to be able to stop it. I will protect American sovereignty from the creeping hands of global government. And as we speak, Joe Biden's minions are in... There's some out there who just hate us for the freedoms that we enjoy here. <laughs> Geneva, secretly negotiating to surrender more of our liberty to the World Health Organization. 
drafts of the agreement show that they want to subjugate America to foreign nations, attack free speech, empower the World Health Organization to redistribute American resources. They're going to take our money and send it all over the world to other countries that we need for our own citizens in the event of a pandemic, and it can happen again. I am hereby demanding that Joe Biden submit these monstrosities to the Senate as treat. He gave Fauci his platform. He was there when that shit was happening, when the CDC was doing what it was doing, the WHO was doing what it was doing. He was pushing the stab. Oh, they have to be submitted as treaties because he cannot be allowed to do that. Destroy our country, he is. If he does not, I will rip them up and throw them out on day one of the Trump administration. On education, we will cut federal funding for any school, pushing Marxist and communist race and gender theories on our children. We will keep men out of women's sports. And I will not give one penny to any school that has a vaccine mandate or a mask mandate. We will shut down our out-of-control federal department of education and give it back to the states and local governments. I will return power to the states, local governments, and to the American people. I am a believer in the Tenth Amendment. I will always defend religious liberty. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, I just want it to end now. You're a believer in the Tenth Amendment. And the right to keep and bear arms. Which he violated more than anybody else in our lifetimes at the federal level. And I will secure our elections. So in conclusion, to every freedom lover here today, and there are a lot of them, and all across our land, I say, this is no ordinary election. Freedom itself is at stake. This will be the most important election in the history of our country. So if you want to strike a blow against the corrupt system in Washington, if you want... <laughs> the most important election. You mean like every single other one before? Wow. I'm going to send a message to all of the people who want to take away your liberty. We're almost done this. And right now, in this... All the people who want to take away your liberty, not the guy trying to get into office where he can wield massive political power over you. Not him. All the other ones. This election, we need your help. We need your support. When I'm in the White House, <laughs> you will always find an open door to the Oval Office. <laughs> Together, we are taking on some of the most menacing Together. forces and vicious opponents our people have ever seen. We are all in this together. But no matter how hateful or corrupt the communists and criminals we're fighting are, and they are vicious and they are corrupt, you must never forget, this nation does not belong to them. This nation belongs to you, belongs to you. This is your home, this is your heritage, and our American liberty is your... This is now my plantation, or I should say, our plantation, yours and mine. Only I'm going to be making money off of robbing the crap out of you and controlling all of you. But we're in this together. <laughs> A God-given right. 2024 is our final battle. With your help, we will demolish the deep state. We will expect final battle <laughs> what happens after that oh yeah then it's just freedom forever it's okay if you vote if you elect him the second time we're done there's no more like oppression or government overreach or none of that it's, it's fixed it's our final battle good to know well the warmongers from our government we will drive out the globalists we will cast out the communist marxist and fascists we will throw off the sick political class that hates our country and we will drain the swamp and we will restore and rescue our country from these tyrants and villains. We're trying to bring that shit all. back. Ladies and gentlemen, the great liberation of America begins on November 5th, 2024. It will be the most important day in the history of our country. And the forgotten man and woman will be forgotten no longer. I want to thank you. I want your support. And again, you can either nominate us and put us in the position or give us your votes. I would say nominate or give us your votes, but we want libertarian votes because you stand for what we stand for and don't waste a vote and don't allow the worst president in the history of our country to come back and do the final destruction of America. Thank you very much, everybody. God. You stand for what we stand for. Once again, for the last time, Trump supporters watching this think, oh, I guess he's kind of libertarian, sort of, except they're booing him half the time. 
people wondering what libertarianism is like, oh, I guess it's him. And he even talked about like more than one libertarian saying that he's a libertarian and that the libertarian should support him. Okay, I guess they're just Trump then. And the neutral spectator just heard this jackass say that, eh, you and I, we, we have the same concerns. <laughs> so there you have it. The message that was spread is Trump equals libertarian, except a bunch of them are mad at him for some unknown reason to any of the spectators. Bless you. God bless you. All right. Uh, so they're cutting it off. Now, I'm going to turn that... Turn the volume off and let it play. Let's watch as they question him and challenge him on some of his positions. Because a number of libertarians said, well, yeah, we can let him say what he thinks. And then uh, we can challenge him and we can point out the error. And we can, like, show our ideas in contrast to what he just said. So let's hear the follow-ups. Let's hear the 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 philosophical principled questions that the libertarians are going to ask to really put him on the spot, to really make him clarify and express and explain, oh, fuck, he left. So, what message did that spread? How did that help? The message of libertarian, libertarianism. For those of you who don't know, libertarianism is supposed to mean the philosophy based on the non-aggression principle. That it's okay to use force to defend yourself or somebody else. It's not okay to be the aggressor. To rob somebody, to attack somebody, to murder somebody who wasn't doing anything to you. Government is 100% incompatible with libertarianism. Democracy is 100% incompatible with libertarianism because when you elect a ruling class and pretend they have the right to tax and legislate, you are pretending they have the right to commit aggression against innocent people. So what message does it spread to have a bunch of people wearing the label libertarian, having a convention where they play these stupid games trying to get power, failing to get political power every stinking time, even though they threw their principles out the window, and then inviting a warmonger in, and a wannabe dictator who's violated the First Amendment, Second Amendment, Fourth, Fifth, Sixth, Ninth, Tenth, all over the place constantly, who then comes in and says, and to feed him. What message did that spread? The thing that matters is people's minds and what they believe. In what way did that do any fucking good? And I know some people who said, well, Ron Paul, he, he was the starting point for a lot of people. That he was, because he talked about philosophical principles. I must have missed it. Where were the philosophical principles? There was Trump vaguely pretending to be pro-freedom, which is bullshit and getting some cheers and some boos. There was no follow-up. There was no questioning, like he was ever going to allow that to happen. It was Trump serving Trump's interests, playing the game, offering a peace offering of, yeah, this political prisoner that we kept there for years, including when I was there, we'll let him go. Well, unless I decide not to, and you can't do a damn thing about it if I decide not to, but we'll promise to let him go to buy your support to put us on a throne where we can forcibly dominate. And the reason you should vote for us is because that other guy is really bad. Well, that's amazing because his campaign is the reason you should vote for him is because you're really bad. <sighs> State is, I don't want to sound entirely pessimistic because statism is absolutely going to fall. The shift in the direction of understanding self-ownership and non-aggression and voluntarism and however you want to describe it, that humanity has been going through, not just in the last few years, but for centuries, bit by bit, more and more, the, the social, the, the overwhelming accepted view is that the individual shouldn't really be mistreated, and this shouldn't be done, that shouldn't be done, and authoritarianism, we don't really like that, and we like that less and less. Humanity is going in the right direction, and it absolutely 
is going to give up statism. The Libertarian Party will play no part in that, except maybe to slow it down a little bit. Because they're just spreading bullshit. They're not spreading principles. They're not spreading ideas. They're not pe making people actually question or think about any of this. They're playing a bullshit game. They're trying to throw their own clown into a bullshit circus designed by psychopaths to make the human livestock feel like they have a say in the game so they can get worn out, they can get their hopes up, and then get worn out and stomped on and then robbed and controlled for the rest of their lives until they're dead in the ground here on your plantation. And the Libertarian Party is doing nothing but playing that game and legitimizing it. And it's really freaking frustrating. I know there are people in the Libertarian Party who are trying to focus on spreading the ideas. The official party isn't just not doing that, they are doing the opposite of that. If anybody is curious about libertarianism and decided to tune into this, what did they learn? Almost nothing, and everything they did learn was false. Which is that Trump and libertarianism, yeah, it's more or less the same thing. Hey, some well-known libertarian said that Trump is a libertarian, and that they should nominate him, and that they should vote for him. You're not spreading any worthwhile anything by playing this fucking game and by acting like this. This is self-serving political bullshit the same as every other candidate and every other political party in the history of the world. It will never do any good. <sighs> and I wish more people would get their heads out of their asses and realize that playing the games designed by the slave smiths is not the way to disempower slave smiths. But apparently, a whole bunch of people still haven't figured that out, even though they think that they're libertarians. Alrighty, have a fabulous day and good luck spreading the actual ideas of freedom while this stupid shit is dragging everything backwards. Zippity-doo-dah.